Poly Arts took place during the 300th anniversary celebration weekend. Vendors included some locally owned businesses, as well as some Hopkinton locals who set up shop, such as Olivia Rosen with her business, which is called So Cute by Liv. Um, well, I'm selling items that I've sewn, which are scarves, tote bags, um, cosmetic bags, and some more. No, this is my fourth year having a booth, and it's been very busy. It's probably the best one yet. The afternoon also featured music from the Alter Ego Band. My favorite booth would definitely be the Keep Smiling booth over there. Great, beautiful day. Yeah, it's been a great day. We've had great support again from the Hopkinton community. We've had uh, stickers and t-shirts flying off the shelves here and a lot of people buying into our, our goals to fund research into early detection of anaphylaxis. What do you think of the new fountain? It's gorgeous. We saw it go in. We didn't even realize it was here. We've got a great spot right next to the fountain. Yeah. We've got running water listening all day. It's a great spot. It's a great little add to the town green. Yeah. Many attendees of Poly Arts really enjoyed the food items. I like the apple crisp. I like the cotton candy. Hebert honey right over there. My company is Embrace Studios. I'm a photographer. Most of what I do is um, nature photography. A lot of coastal, a lot of close-ups. Um, it's no cards. Uh, matted photos, framed photos, canvas gallery wrapped photos, all my own work. There's a lot of foot traffic, you know, I love this festival because there's always some great music and food and a lot of people and it's just fun. Here we sell our Air of Elegance lighting and it comes in many different colors. You can choose the colors that you want or you can go with solid white and we have an LED bulb in there which has a remote control so you can change it to any color you want or it can also be white and then we also do the balloon decorating which I do for different events such as bar mitzvahs, weddings, corporate and that also is to cater to as needed. It's a low light so it's like a 13 watt but it can burn like a 60 watt or LED lights which are also low wattage um, so it can be decorative or it can light up a room in a low setting. Is this your uh, first year at Poly Arts? No, it's our second year. Excellent. How's the traffic been? It's been beautiful. It's been very, very good. The people are awesome. The, the weather has been wonderful. It's been a beautiful day. All right. Are you guys Hopkinton based? Yes, we are. Yep. Awesome. Been here for uh, 23 years. All right. You're excited about the 300th anniversary? Festivities? Very excited. Yep. Looking forward to fireworks tonight. Um, so I'm a polymer clay artist and I've been doing this for about three years. Um, I have an Etsy store and this is actually my first craft fair ever. And so I'm just making, I made lots of my charms and I'm here to sell them today. Excellent. Are you from the Hopkinton area? Yep, I lived in Hopkinton my entire life. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you've been getting a lot of foot traffic over here? Um, actually, yes. It's been absolutely astonishing. This is more than I could have ever wanted, and I'm really happy with the turnout. All right. You excited for the 300th anniversary? Yes. I'm going to be in the parade, and I'm so excited. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so lucky to live in such a historical town, and just, I love it here. <laughs> Well, this is my second year participating in this event, and it's been amazing again. Um, I sell one-of-a-kind handbags that I hand make myself. They're made out of upholstery fabric and leather. Uh, the foot traffic has been unbelievable. The people have been warm and friendly and really wanting to shop, so it's been a great day. Austin, really well set up, uh, very good explanations in terms of parking and unloading and there were some volunteers, which is always helpful. 